Hey, howdy, hey, what is going on, you guys? It is your boy Pyrotoad here with once again another video. Now, oh boy, am I stressing out right now, guys. It is currently like October 18th or something like that. I don't even know, to be honest. And it is getting colder and colder day by day outside. So that can only mean one thing. Winter is around the corner and my animals need warmer setups as soon as possible. Of course, the animals in the reptile room are fine, but all my outdoor tortoises and turtles need warmer setups. So y'all, we are basically going to be winterizing and setting up an enclosure for some of my outdoor tortoises. Right here is the enclosure we're gonna be using. It is a massive, and I mean massive, 300 gallon stock tank that I can literally walk around in. I can like, I can like jog in it. I do like jumping jacks. I mean, this tank is a beast. It's a beast like our boy Fury over there who we've also got to get set up for this winter. But let's just say Fury's setup is, um, well, it's almost ready as you can see. More on that later or in another video. So meanwhile, we're going to be setting up this enclosure for winter. It is under our porch which will also help protect it from the cold winter wind. There's a lot of cleaning up that has to be done out here and this is going to happen over the course of this video and many other videos. But I figured when we are setting up this tub, we could make it spooky. We could make a spooky Halloween type tub. So we've got all the ingredients all laid out here. We've got a bunch of rocks. We've got the tub, of course. We've got pumpkins to add to the Halloween festivity. The animated animatronic to also add to the Halloween festivity. And a few other ingredients. We got a ton of ceramic heat emitters. We got a food dish. We got a ton of light fixtures, a ton of dirt. I mean, we've got a bunch of stuff. My bank is kind of broken I'm not gonna lie these animals are very very expensive so yeah I have a ton of different precautions that I take whenever the weather is colder out to ensure the health and survival of my animals our current giant tortoise enclosure has no zero form of heat or insulation or any of that this thing is completely open aired no heat bulbs no heat lights nothing so with it getting colder day by day, all of the tortoises and turtles that live out here get colder as well. For example, our two baby sulcatas over there, Xena and Abrams, I love those guys so much. I've had them for over three years. I wouldn't want anything to happen to them. And they are gonna start getting cold. They're gonna start freezing as it starts to freeze outside here in Texas. So they just can't stay in here any longer, at least until spring and summer is back. There's also some redfoot tortoises and a few other species that live in here as well. And we're gonna get them all prepared for winter because last winter it hit hard. We had 20 degree weather, killed everything outside except for the stuff that I kept warm. And without further ado, let's get started on setting up this Halloween winter tub setup. Well y'all, it is time to get started. So we've got our tub kind of in its final resting place I guess you could say we've got our core so this core is going to be the main power supply the main power source for all the lighting on this enclosure now we've got a three-way head here but we've also got an extension cord that I bought from Home Depot so we've got plenty of options we go ahead and set that guy right there and the first thing I think we're gonna actually start doing is getting the bedding in this enclosure mixing it up and getting it all set up once the bedding is in, then we can start adding our rocks and changing elevations and then creating basking platforms. Now I've got a ton of rocks, a ton of dogs, a ton of bedding, and a ton of other supplies. So we've got plenty of options, plenty of material as of now to work with. But let's go ahead and start getting our bedding in. We're going to mix up our no-float cypress mulch and our all-organic topsoil. We're going to start mixing those two up and create a really nice blend of substrate for the tortoises. So as you can see, we've gotten our, our hibiscus plant in. This plant is super duper good for tortoises and that's why I decided to save it because if winter does hit and it gets super cold, this plant will die off. 
But if we can keep it somewhere a little bit more sheltered with heating, heat bulbs, etc., this thing should thrive. So this is how it's looking so far. We've got our layer of cypress mulch on the bottom, which is the best bedding for tortoises, in my opinion. Then we've got, of course, our plant. We've got our power supply ready to go. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna start setting up our rocks the way we want it. We're gonna use these rocks to create nice basking platforms and climbing opportunities for the tortoise. Have some ramp on each side of the plant, just like so. I'm not sure yet, I'm still playing with it. So give me some time, I'm gonna set it up, and then I'll catch up with you guys once the rocks and everything are in. And holy smokes, the insane amount of progress we have made is looking really good. So we've got our nice gray color of my glove stones right here. And if we step over, I'll kind of give you a layout real quick. So we've got our hibiscus tree in the back center. That'll help give them enrichment and things to eat. Moving down, we've got a series of tunnels and caves for these tortoises. Because in the winter, they're gonna need somewhere to hide and somewhere good and structurally sound to hide. So I installed a bunch of caves. This one goes right back here. This one goes through here and out through here. And then this one goes all the way back up behind that rock there. So there's technically like three caves for them to hide. One here, one here, and one here. They'll of course dig their own burrows and hide throughout the mulch as well. Theory's just uh, trying to cook out, I guess. I guess he's just trying to grill some patties for us or something. I don't really know. And then moving on down here, the next thing we're gonna do is we've got some of these Lugardi terrarium grass seeds and we've got some jungle mix. So we're gonna create an area like in the corner here of jungle mix and grass seeds and hopefully grow some grass so that the tortoises can of course walk through it and eat it. Now if I can successfully grow grass seeds in this pond, I think that would be pretty epic. So yeah, what we're gonna do next is add our little grassy section, set up our food and water dish, and then of course set up our lighting and our heating. After we've done those three things, then we'll start decorating it for Halloween by putting our pumpkins out and the other items that we bought. Without further ado, I guess, uh, let's get started. Okay, so our little... <coughs> so our little grassy area is complete, as you can see. Now, obviously, there's no grass because they're grass seeds, so we gotta give them time to grow in. But you get the idea, so we've got our rocks holding the grass seeds back, then we've got the little dirt area, the grass, and then some more rocks on this side. Now more than likely, the tortoises are going to destroy this area. They're gonna show no mercy to it, but I figured it's worth a shot. Then we've got their actual food dish right here. Now their water dish is still in the other enclosure and we're not gonna worry about that yet. The next important thing we gotta figure out is lighting. You may be wondering, how the heck are we going to heat and light this giant tub enclosure? So being that it's not 30 degrees out, super duper cold, it's right now about 75 degrees. We're gonna use just two bulbs and as it gets colder, we'll add more bulbs as it goes. The first bulb we're gonna use is this Fluker Sunspot. It's kind of like a Zoomed Power Sun bulb. So it does heat, UVB, UVA, and light all in this one bulb. These are really nice bulbs and obviously really nicely priced for $40 each. But it's gonna be very important to have because under the porch, the tortoises won't get UVB. But if I have this bulb that they can sit and bask under, they will get UVB. And that's why, well, we've got this bulb here. Moving on, we've got the ceramic infrared heat emitter. We're just gonna have one of these on at night just to give them a little bit of warmth, but we don't need all three quite yet. Then we've got zip ties. I'm gonna use these zip ties to kind of help hold the lamp fixtures up. So this is kind of how it's looking. We've got our zip tie right there, our lamp pointing right on the rock so they'll have a nice warm basking spot. And then when they move down, they can chill under there where hopefully it'll still be warm because obviously the heat is going to carry through the rock. Let's go ahead and get our first bulb open. It's a little bit of a bulb unboxing, if you will. Fluker sunspot, let's get this guy out. Oh gosh, I can't really do this one-handed. Here we go, let's try this. Come on, come on, light bulb. We got it, y'all. We got the bulb. Now take a look at that gorgeous looking light bulb. If you look on the inside, you can see all of the components that make up this bulb. This isn't your regular light bulb. Like look at that thing. That is the most fancy high tech light bulb I've ever seen. And now let's put it on our tortoises enclosure. For the most part, we've got our fixtures where we want them. Now it's time to put our ceramic heat emitter on that open fixture. Let's go ahead, another bulb unboxing. Let's take a look yet. Let's take a look, let's see what we got. Okay, take this off. And voila, a beautiful brand new ceramic heat emitter that costs a lot of money. Let's get this sucker installed. And now without further ado, let's get this bad boy plugged in. All right, y'all, here we go, here goes nothing. Plug it in, boom, it is plugged in. 
and voila, we have light. So there goes our heat bulb, making this rock nice and toasty, nice and warm. And that's what we wanted. That's exactly what we want. That way our tortoises can go right up the ramp, sit right under that rock, and get nice and warm. The ceramic heat emitter I'm not going to plug in yet because it's not cold enough to need it. And because even if I did plug it in, you wouldn't be able to see the heat it emits. But wham, look at that cage. That thing looks absolutely insane. And I think our tortoises are going to love it as well. I mean, just look at that. And then what we can do is we can take our hose and water the plant, water the grass or our sprayer or whatever we need to to keep this enclosure hydrated as well. Looks super dope. And I think the next thing we need to do is put some tortoises into this bad boy. I think that's what we're gonna do next. Wait, 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 I forgot. Let's get our pumpkin set up and our other Halloween decor. And let's clean all this mess up. Then we'll add tortoises. All right, it's cleaned up a little bit better. Just, just a little bit. Now we're gonna figure out what the heck we're gonna do with these pumpkins and we're gonna start setting up our Halloween decor. Because this tub is super cool and all, but it's kind of boring just looking at it like this. And being that Halloween is right around the corner, we need to spice it up a bit. All right, y'all, we have this pumpkin for Halloween. We've got a knife. That can only mean one thing. We're gonna carve this guy. But I'm thinking we carve it and make it a hide, but an edible hide for our tortoises because of course, tortoises can have pumpkin. We're gonna cut it out to where it's got like a half oval shape and where they can go inside and they can hide. Obviously over time, this pumpkin will rot. It will mush, but I think for a little bit, that's gonna be a pretty cool hide. So let's get to carving. We have to make sure the entrance is gonna be wide enough for the tortoises to go into. So we're gonna start with a good side like that and then we're just gonna cut like this. Boom, boom, and then boom, all the way around so that they can go inside and chill inside of the pumpkin. And well, uh, there's our pumpkin hide, but now we gotta hollow out the insides, pull out all that meat, feed it to Fury and the other tortoises, and use this as a hide. We're just gonna grab a handful, a big old scoop if we can get one. Oh my goodness, look at all that delicious, slimy pumpkin meat. Let's go take some to Fury. Fury! Fury! Here, you can have some food. There we go, our pumpkin hide is done. Let's go ahead and put it in the tub. Here we go, here we go. We've got our hide, let's set it down somewhere. And there we go, we've got our little pumpkins inside, we've got our hide. I think this thing is almost ready for tortoises. Well y'all, the spooky Halloween tortoise tub setup is complete. The next thing that we need to do is add some tortoises. We got our creepy frog over there that looks kind of like Gucci. We got our jack-o'-lantern, our other pumpkin, and then of course our pumpkins on the inside. We've got our LED lighting, which you can't see as well because it's daytime. All in all, this setup looks really good. I think the tortoises are gonna love it over fall and winter. They're gonna really make use of all the enrichment this setup has to offer. Now it's not super duper cold out right now, so I want to leave most of the tortoises in the other enclosure, but Zena and Abrams, my two baby sulcatas, we are going to go ahead and move into this tub. So let's go get those two tortoises and move them into their new spooky Halloween setup. Fury is also chowing down on the inside of that pumpkin I pulled apart. He's going crazy right now. But uh, he's not the video, he's not the point. Let's go get Xena and Abrams. And there they are, there's our two four-year-old African sulcata tortoise babies, I guess you could almost say. We're gonna go ahead and grab one and move them over and then we'll come back for the next one. Let's see, let's grab them, here we go, here we go. Then we'll grab Miss Xena. Come on, Xena. All right, we got Xena, we got Xena. We got Xena, we're gonna move her over. All right, y'all, so we've got Xena and Abrams both over here on the porch by the pond. And it's about time that we introduce them to their new winter slash Halloween slash I don't even know setup. All right, guys, are you ready? Are you ready? I don't even think they understand what's going on right now. They think I'm just letting them walk around. They're getting a new home. Let's move them over. Here we go. Three, two, one, go free, my child. How about you, Abrams? Do you care? Let's see. One two and go free do you care no no he, he doesn't care no honestly though they're so confused they're not really sure what to think 
of this new setup, we're going to go ahead and give them some time to kind of explore and get used to their new home. Now as winter gets colder, I am going to add more tortoises to this setup. And you may be thinking, Christian, that's too many tortoises for this little tub. Not necessarily. Plus, I've got lots of hides, lots of enrichment, and they're only going to be in there for a couple months while winter does its worst. Once winter is over with and said and done and spring pops back up, we will rescape their other enclosure and make it look brand new and move them all back to it. Every single year, that's kind of how it goes down. I will move the tortoises into temporary enclosures over the winter, and then once spring hits, they will go back out to their springtime enclosure. Looks like they're already trying to get explored and get used to their setup. She's trying to go in her hide. Abrams was, was just looking at the pumpkin a second ago, but now he's going up to the top. It's so interesting to see how these guys react. Okay, so he's, so Xena is going up to the top. That's Xena. That's Abrams. Abrams is coming our way to see what's going on. What, what do you think, buddy? What's going on? What do you think, dude? The pumpkin might be in the way of Xena. I'm not too sure yet, but she's going to explore. She'll figure it out her own way. And these guys got a lot of room for the time being. Looks like Buddy's already about to start climbing up the ramp and making his way up. He already knows the drill. He knows what to do. Go, buddy. Go, climb. Climb. There you go. Use those little muscles. Abrams did not skip leg day, I can tell you that much. These guys are really moving around a whole bunch trying to explore. They're trying to find out the hides. They're trying to see where the food is. These guys are going to love their home. That is it for today's video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe if you guys enjoyed. Follow my Instagram, TheRealPirateToadYT. And hey, I hope you guys have a wonderful Halloween. And we'll see you all in the next one. Peace!